Tyson Fury has set his sights on a title fight with Anthony Joshua after being cleared to box again following a deal with UK anti-doping. Fury, along with his cousin and fellow heavyweight Huey, have accepted a backdated two-year doping ban for testing positive for elevated levels of nandrolona in February 2015. However, a separate charge against Tyson Fury for refusing to take a drug test in September the 2016, which could have carried a four-year ban, has been withdrawn. Both men continue to deny any wrongdoing, and say the high levels of nandrolona came from the ingestion of awful, uncastrated wild boar contaminated supplements. Tyson Fury, who has not fought since winning the world heavyweight crown against Vladimir Klitschko in November 2015, responded to the news by immediately tweeting Joshua, who holds the WBA, IBF and Ebo world titles where you at boy am coming for you punk. No one blocking my path, now Fury then jokingly suggested he may appear on the bill of his friend, the British middleweight Billy Joe Saunders, when he defends his world middleweight title in Canada on Saturday. In a statement Fury, 29, said I'm a fighting man through and through and I've never backed down from anyone in my life and I was certainly not going to back down from fighting this dispute. Huey and I have maintained our innocence from day one and we're now happy that it has finally been settled with UKAD and that we can move forward knowing that we'll not be labeled drug cheats. I can now put the nightmare of the last two years behind me and next year I will be back doing what I do best better than ever and ready to reclaim the world titles which are rightfully mine. The UKAD chief executive, Nicole Sapstead, said there was absolutely no whitewash and nothing to be fearful or embarrassed about in the decision. However, she confirmed her organization would launch an internal review to learn any lessons from what she called an exceptional case. Sapstead also accepted UKAD had made a mistake by not telling the Furies they could be charged when they were first interviewed after failing a doping test, and that it had taken too long to charge the fighters after their positive tests in February the 2015. Sapstead explained the delay was because her organization had needed to seek additional scientific research into Nandrolona and consult the World Anti-Doping Agency and an expert in Nandrolona. The Furies argued they were in some way legally prejudiced because of delay, she added. It was probably a failure on our part. In hindsight and when we run a review of this case, that will probably be something that emerges out of it. But we're not in the business here of just frivolously charging athletes and hoping a charge will stick. Sapstead also conceded the failure to keep Furies informed was intrinsically linked to Tyson Fury's refusal to take a test last year. However, she denied the spiraling legal costs of the case had been a factor in the surprise compromise decision. We have thrown an unprecedented amount of resources at this, she said. Yes, one of the elements does have to be the money side of things. But that was not the sole reason we got to where we got to, absolutely not. We would they fought this to the end, th degree. Under the compromise, Huey Fury's victory against Andrew Rudenko on 21 February 2015 along with Tyson's win over Christian Hammer a week later are disqualified, and any and all titles, prize, money and ranking points are forfeited. However, UKAD accepted that because both fighters were not put on notice of their alleged anti-doping violation until June 2016, and had not committed any doping offences after February the 2015, the results they obtained in their fights after that date should not be disqualified. Crucially it means Tyson Fury's shock victory over Klitschko remains in the record books. The case was also complicated by several factors, including Tyson Fury failing a test for cocaine use in September 2016 and later admitting using the recreational drug to deal with depression related to his injury and UKAD problems. However, Monday's decision allows both parties to claim a partial victory. As Sapstead admitted it ISNT as if you're going to go this is a brilliant outcome. A compromise is a compromise. Tyson 2 fastfury at Tyson. Fury at Anthony F. Joshua where you at boy am coming for you punk Kent number one blocking my path now clenched fist light skin tone December 12, 2017.